Hello YouTube, this is Brian J coming at you. I just wanted to make another video today for my ferro rod collection. Pinefireshop.com. This is a... I think that's the maker. Comes with a... Paracord handle. And then I got a... Another pine fire shop one. Low in the dark. Yeah, you can't tell. These are my two pine fire shop ones. And we're gonna go to Native Tears. This was my first one I ordered off of uh, from a YouTuber. She makes a lot of them. And then I think the third is going to be Dark Matters. This is my small one I got from Dark Matter. Um, I got it. Let me see. Let's see. I got it set up where I can change handles I didn't glue them in that way I can uh, see it, it, it's not gonna come out you're not gonna lose it and then my other one from dark matter let me see yeah, I can't get this one out let me see Okay, I don't know if you guys can see how deep that is, but uh, I drilled it extra, extra deep where it goes down about that far in. But if you do it right with the right size, uh, the right size uh, drill bit, you don't have to glue it in or putty it in or whatever you do. There are some secrets about these, but I'm not going to announce it on YouTube because uh, Dark Matters likes to let you guess once you receive your ferro rod or once you receive your handle from them. This is uh, the two spirit rods I got from Dark Matter. And then this one's glued in, but uh, I bought this one this way. This is a Nathan 4071 ferro rod. And this one is a Nathan 401 ferro rod. Uh, the, <clears throat> these two right here are not, oh no, this one is too. These three are Nathan 4071 ferro rods. And then I picked some of these up, which is a softer ferro rod. I don't know if you can tell how much is used off of it. It's it's a softer ferro rod. I got them a lot cheaper on eBay. Um, I think I got two of them for like seven bucks. But as you can tell, I mean, this one has been used a lot less than this one. And it don't look like it. So, Nathan4071, his ferro rods seem to stand up a lot better. Um... I can light a fire with any one, either one of them just as easy. Um, actually, uh, the softer ones throw more sparks, but like I said, they don't last longer. I prefer the harder one just for the durability and the lasting part of it. This is a 5 16th from Nathan, and this is a half inch from Nathan. But anyhow, I just wanted to share with you guys my collection of uh, handles and stuff. I have a lot more ferro rods, but they're just the rods itself. It's uh, just these without the handles on them. So I didn't figure you guys need to see those. But these are all ones I've got off YouTube people. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> this is a... I showed you this, but I didn't tell you. This is from Survival Mindset. The ferro rod is one of Nathan's, and this is something that if you want to pick one up, 
I'm not sure the price. I think it's $22. Uh, don't quote me on that. If you want to get one, get a hold of a survival mindset. Uh, PM him or if you need be, just um, contact him on his page and he'll get back to you pretty quick. Um, the first day I seen it, I contacted him. I'm <clears throat> probably one of the first ones to buy one off him. If not, I'm one of the first few anyhow because the first day I seen it before he ever started selling them I jumped right on them uh, <clears throat> I wish I would have waited a little bit longer because uh, now he's got some really nice bottle openers and I would love to I'm actually going to talk to him and see if I can get one made like this with the bottle opener on it but I don't know if he would do special orders so anyhow thank you guys for watching and God bless